Hi, everyone. I'm Kathy Zip, Associate Editor of Wind Power Engineering and Development. And I'd like to welcome you to today's webinar, Breakthrough Solutions for Blade Access to Improve Productivity. Thank you all for your patience. Before we begin, I'd just like to go over a few house cleaning items. I'd like to mention that this webinar will be available after the presentation on windpowerengineering.com, and the webinar will also be emailed to all attendees. Secondly, there will be a question and answer session at the end of the presentation. We encourage you to participate. You may submit your questions at any time throughout the webinar by typing them into the GoToMeeting panel on your right. Last week, we recognized that not everyone who would have liked to attend this webinar could, so we encourage everyone to tweet about key topics and discuss takeaways using the hash, hashtag WinWebinar. So at this time, I'd like to introduce our presenters. Today we have Clint Ramberg. He is the Director of Wind Access at Spider. Clint is a 15-year scaffold industry veteran. He has experience with both supported and suspended scaffolding. He specializes in wind and industrial access, as well as far prote fall protection solutions. He has held operations, sales, profit leadership, and senior management roles with brand services and Spider. He assisted in the development and instruction of Spider's training program, and he presents regularly for industrial and commercial trade associations and consults on specialized rigging and safety applications. Formerly res responsible for revenue and profit realization for Spider, Clint is now focused on developing temporary suspended access solutions for the wind market. So welcome, Clint. And we also have Aaron Koslowski. He is the global business manager at 3M Wind Energy Business. Aaron joined 3M through its strategic business development group in 2007 where he focused on addressing a variety of challenges for multiple divisions and industries. Prior to joining 3M, Aaron spent eight years in marketing and engineering roles at TriQuint Semiconductor, which supplies radio frequency components. Aaron has a BSEE from Michigan Technological University and an MBA from Cornell University. We also have um, Jennifer Camerinian. She will be speaking. She is a wind energy application engineer at 3M's Renewable Energy Division. Jennifer works as an application development specialist with 3M's wind energy team in St. Paul. She uses her engineering background to translate the company's core technologies and R&D resources into erosion control solutions for the wind industry. Jen holds a BS in chemical engineering from Michigan Technological University. And finally, we have Olin Richardson. He is Vice President of Broadwinds Blade Services. Olin has more than 11 years of experience in manufacturing and servicing composite blades for wind turbines, and most recently served as CEO of Wind Services Group. This is a firm that specializes in blade services. Prior to co-founding WSG, Richardson held roles in blade, wind blade services for WindCom, and General Electric, 10 years in the United States Navy, and he is a Six Sigma Green Belt. He studied economics at the University of West Florida and holds a degree in engineering technology. So thank you everyone again for being here with us today. And I believe that Clint is actually going to start things off, so Clint, go ahead and take it away whenever you're ready. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. And uh, great introduction. I am so happy to uh, to have everyone that's attending, uh, especially our our friends at at 3M and Broadwind who are helping to uh, develop and participate our our presentation today. Um, as we uh, begin the the dialogue here, I wanted to let everyone know that we will have opportunities for questions and answers at the end. So be uh, prepared. I think that that's a uh, uh, process where you type questions into your computer and then Kathy will come back on as the moderator and, and bring that up for us. We have um, a good a good program designed for you today. We are uh, we're looking at um, 
you know, defining what leading edge damage is and, and uh, helping to make sure everyone understands some of the issues that are associated with that and how to uh, repair and, and protect against that type of damage. We're going to discuss the best leading edge access that's available in the market today, and that's the Spider 360 degree blade access platform. We are going to detail the repair process for leading edges on, uh, on wind turbine blades, and we have some of the industry's leading professionals in, in that topic that are going to be uh, presenting at that point. Then we're going to develop the, uh, the total solution, and we've got a, um, a uh, uh, person with just tremendous experience, that's Olin Richardson, who's going to help us um, understand how the combination of superior leading edge access and the uh, uh, industry leading leading edge protection process uh, combined together to make this so much more productive and uh, and efficient uh, an operation. There we go. I was just waiting for that slide to scroll. It. Uh, I think what we're going to do now is uh, talk about what uh, what blade erosion is, and I think Aaron, we're going to turn that over to you to kind of cover this topic for us. So why don't you take it away? Sounds good. Thanks, Clint, and thanks for letting 3M uh, join you today for the webinar. Um, before we get into the details of the access platforms and installation of leading edge protection, I thought I'd just we could just take a, a brief few moments to develop a common understanding with the audience. Uh, one of the most prevalent blade issues that the industry is seeing and a reason to access uh, with a platform such as the 360 BAP by Spider, and that is the issue of blade leading edge erosion. So from our own customer feedback and field work, we recognize that erosion is a severe and universal problem, and it occurs regardless of the factors that you see listed here, whether it's turbine location, uh, hub height, the applied paint or coating system, regardless of the blade length, and regardless of the blade or turbine manufacturer. These are some pretty harsh conditions that the blades are being asked to hold up to for 20 years. And that erosion is highly dependent on the environmental conditions at the site of the farm, the quality of the blade structure and finishing, and then the actual tip speed of the turbine. You can see some example pictures here on the upper right. You can see pitting already starting to form on this blade after two years in service, and then the the bottom one, after 10 years in service, this blade never received any leading edge repair or treatment, and it's starting to, uh, it's pretty gouged, just starting to delaminate uh, and could lead potentially to failure. So um, really, again, I just wanted to put together a common understanding of one of the, the main reasons to access the blade leading edge and what's driving the need for quality access to the blades. Um, and with that, I turn it back over to you, Clint, to give us some more detail on the 360 blade access platform. Thanks, Aaron. I uh, so if I take away from what you said, this is a common occurrence, no matter what turbine, what blade, what manufacturer. This is going to happen with the uh, the blade spinning through the air like it does in in any situation, right? That has definitely been our experience. Okay. Excellent. Um, just waiting for the slide to transition here. The uh, the spider system of access, real quickly, is is designed around a um, a core product, which is our 360 degree blade access platform. That's the the platform that's shown in the top center of this slide. Um, the features of this product are that they are reconfigurable. Uh, the the components that make this up are able to be put into different configurations that will provide specialty type access to uh, towers, to blades for quick inspections or, or uh, minor repair work. But the core system is the 360 degree blade access platform. And this is really the, uh, the platform that we're going to be discussing today when we talk about the superior access to the leading edge of a blade. Um, not only can this system be reconfigured uh, using the components that are there, it can also be resized to allow use on, on every, every type of wind turbine and, and dimension of the blade that's, 
that's uh, out there right now. Um, to my knowledge, we have rigged 360-degree blade access platforms on at least 11 different turbine manufacturers and several models within those. So we've we've not found a single turbine yet that we haven't been able to utilize this this platform on. And it really it's designed around a system that will allow the end user to get the best possible access to any part of the turbine that they need to get to on the exterior. Now as we as we um, advance the slide here and go to uh, talking about specific platform configurations for leading edge access, um, really what it's about here is providing the most stable, most comfortable, and most confidence-inspiring um, ride for the technicians that are on the platform, as well as getting you exactly to where you need to work. So it's all about getting technicians on that leading edge feeling comfortable with the, the work environment that they're in and being able to be more productive and more proficient in the installation of the, uh, the repair and the protection equipment or materials that they're going to be putting on there. So the benefits um, that lead to a superior installation and uh, productivity off of this platform are that there's low physical demand of the operators. They're not in any kind of uh, suspension um, issue. They're standing on a platform that's very stable and very comfortable to work from. There's an er ergonomic workplace um, improvement because the platform can be positioned horizontally and vertically and it allows the worker to be right on top of the, the blade at the leading edge and down the, the side of each blade with one worker on either of those sides and it, uh, it puts the work right at shoulder height, right in front of of the worker, it's uh, it's not something that you have to lay down on the bottom of the platform or reach up extremely high to to achieve a comfortable work position, and all of those go together to produce a superior installation of of leading edge protection product. So we get optimal access to the tip. Um, we can position that tip right at our work surface while we're stabilized off of the the tower, and we have. Uh, other accessories that improve the productivity of the worker while they're on there, um, things like adjustable storage locations to hold tools and materials that can be positioned anywhere that they need to be on the platform. We have onboard power that's available, GFCI protected for the use of tools to do surface preparation, cleaning, and, and installation of the, the product. The, um, the stability of the platform is achieved by using a, uh, a stabilization frame and it helps to improve productivity of the overall um, project by eliminating in most cases the need for tagline operators on the ground. The platform itself, the configuration allows the, the use of, of angles to stabilize and support the, the worker. They can move around the platform. They don't have to stay in one position, but they can be out on the leading edge at the same time without having to feel like there's you know, control from the ground that, that is, uh, is out of their control by the use of multiple tag lines, you know, sometimes up to four in other situations where they have to stabilize this platform and, uh, and move it around. So we get two technicians out on either side of the leading edge. And, uh, and we provide them with the ability to get right on top of their work. Versus other types of access that we've seen used for leading edge work, um, the 360 degree BAP is certainly more cost effective to mobilize than crane, cranes or booms. It allows the, um, the use of, of technicians who are uh, able to be trained in, in a matter of days versus a matter of weeks or months even in some other types of access. Uh, and it, it really is a, a system that has uh, significant benefit over any other type of access that we've seen in delivering a, uh, a quality installation. One of those factors is just the fact that we can, we can run fewer, um, we can run a continuous installation of the product without con uh, having splices in that uh, leading edge tape because we're able to move the platform up and down horizontally in and out 
and we can get in the perfect position so you eliminate having to cut and splice the, uh, the leading edge tape in the, in the process. Jumped over a slide here, just one second. Spider is a uh, manufacturer of suspended access products for 65 years. This is our 65th anniversary. We have tremendous industry knowledge in, in the use and impl um, implementation of suspended access products, and we are able to ensure that uh, the platforms that we provide are part of the conventional means that's discussed in OSHA's regulations. What this means is that this is a OSHA-approved compliant platform. Uh, we also use UL approval processes that that ensure that we meet the, the regulations. And this is a preferred method as far as uh, the regulatory uh, agencies are concerned to uh, provide access for live loads at elevation. Um, it's easy to operate. We can train and, and uh, certify technicians to operate this platform, like I said, in a matter of days. And lastly, we're able to I think provide one great benefit to the installation of leading edge protection is that we're able to provide a means for independent verification of the work that's been performed. We can actually put an inspector on the platform with one of the technicians and in just a matter of minutes we can have them up to the work and, and uh, back to where they are uh, able to verify the, the quality and the extent of, of repair that's been performed. That's all that I had for right now, Aaron, on the uh, the platform. I think what I'd like to do is uh, turn the, the control over to you to discuss the, the process of installing leading edge protection from 3M. Sure. Thank you. Thanks, Clint. So what I'm hearing you say is that this, uh, my takeaway from this is a very stable, safe, yet highly adjustable platform uh, that allows access to all points on the blade leading edge or surface. That's correct. Not only the leading edge, but all surfaces of the blade, but I think specifically getting out on that leading edge is exactly what we're talking about, and we do it as well as any other system that's, that's in place. Yeah. Sounds like a great uh, combination with some of the products and solutions that uh, Trium can provide for leading edge erosion, uh, namely our wind protection tapes. I'm not sure if many people are aware, but this technology and some of the predecessor products uh, to these tapes go back to the 1960s when they were used um, on military operations on helicopter blades and the, the underbellies of aircraft. And actually they're still used uh, by the military and civilian aircraft today. Uh, in addition, wind protection tape was first applied to wind blades all the way back in 1994. So for over 18 years, uh, 3M has been applying these products uh, in the wind industry. The tapes themselves uh, are very tough, abrasion resistant, polyurethane tapes. They have over 500% elongation, meaning you can stretch them to five times the original size before they break. We currently have them available in colorless and white. And I guess new news for this year is that we expect to have an RAL7035 gray version available shortly, as well as uh, what we're calling an easy apply liner. And Jen's going to walk through more details of that liner uh, shortly. Of course, before you can apply a leading edge protection solution, you need to repair the damage done by erosion. Uh, we also offer a number of fillers in a variety of chemistries, uh, very good work times, six to 10 minute work times while you're up on the 360 BAP, uh, pretty short sand times as well, 30 to 45 minutes. You can be sanding the product, uh, returning it to its original aerodynamic shape, and then moving on with the rest of the repair. Additionally, rather than hand mixing, all of our products are provided in a dual pack cartridge, meaning they come in a one-to-one -one mix ratio. Uh, they are mixed at the very tip. You can see there in the picture. Uh, so they're only mixed and applied as needed and where needed, thereby reducing waste and reducing costs and speeding up the time to repair. And with that, I'll turn it over to my colleague, Jen Cameron, who is going to cover uh, more details around wind protection tape application on the BAP platform. 
All right, thank you, Clint, and thank you for Aaron for the background you've provided so far. Um, what I'm going to discuss today, again, as a reminder, I've, I'm the application development engineer here at 3M with responsibility for our leading edge protection solutions. So what I will be covering today is uh, an overview of how the 360 BAP can be used to install 3M wind protection tape up, hop, up tower. And as Aaron mentioned, before you even get to the point of applying your leading edge protection solution, there's a few steps you need to take care of to make sure that your, your blade is in good shape um, beforehand. The first thing that you can do with the 360 BAP is power it up to the appropriate height to do an inspection of the leading edge to see if there's any damage that would need to be repaired beforehand. Um, a lot of times this is completed in a separate step. You would then come back down to the ground and develop your game plan for going up there to fix that damage, gather your supplies, and place them in your storage bucket. You can see in the picture on the left there is a storage bucket attached to the outside of the, the 360 BAP, and it really is a convenient way to make sure your, your supplies are organized and it's very flexible with where you can locate it on the, on the platform throughout the installation process. Um, as you head back up there with your supplies, the job is to restore the leading edge to its original aerodynamic shape. Um, as Aaron mentioned, we do have 3M wind fillers available in dual pack cartridges, uh, both epoxy and polyurethane chemistries to help repair minor, minor damage on the leading edge. So if you've got a repair that's not going to require fiberglass reinforcement, these are excellent products to select um, for that repair process. Once you know that your leading edge has its original aerodynamic shape, the next step is to smooth and clean it in preparation for attachment of the 3M wind protection tape. Um, it's very important. This is the most critical part of the installation process. Um, when you're applying a tape, you need to make sure you're attaching it to a smooth and clean surface. That's really crucial to maximizing the long-term performance of your wind protection tape. Um, as pictured on the left, the first step is to sand the leading edge area where your wind protection tape will be applied with a 320 grit abrasive. And um, in this case, we're using a random orbital sander. And then once that entire surface is smoothed out, um, the next step is to clean it with the application solution or an IPA water mixture. And being in this step, being very careful to remove all sanding debris and make sure you've got a nice um, clean surface for the installation process. Once you've got your smooth and clean leading edge, it's time to apply 3M wind protection tape. For those who are familiar with our wind protection tape, you may notice some differences in the pictures here. Aaron mentioned that within the next few weeks, we are going to be introducing an easy apply version of our 3M wind protection tape. Um, the easy apply will have a liner that can be removed in three sections. So the, the process I'm reviewing here today is how you would apply that easy apply version of the 3M wind protection tape. Um, the first step is to remove the center of the easy apply liner from a one meter to one and a half meter section of the wind protection tape. You really want to work on whatever um, whatever length of leading edge you can comfortably access from your 360 BAP, knowing that you'll be able to move up and down um, readily with that equipment. Once you've got exposed the wind protection tape in that center section, you spray both the wind protection tape and the blade surface with the application solution, and then align the wind protection tape. Um, having only the center of the adhesive exposed really does help with that alignment center to the leading edge of the blade. And then you use a squeegee to press it into place and make sure you've removed all solution and bubbles from, from beneath the wind protection tape. So as I go through this process, there's going to be this, this, these last couple of steps are going to be repeated a couple of times. So really, at a certain point, you're going to hear me say you're going to spray, align, and squeegee it a few times as we go on. So once that center section is applied um, firmly to the blade, the next step is to remove the liner from one side of the wind protection tape. You can pull it off, the three inch section off, and again, that's when the, the spray, align, and squeegee step comes back into play. As you're squeegeeing the side, one tip is to really make sure you move in a start at the center and move out in a per perpendicular direction to the blade. It really helps the product lay down correctly and helps you make sure that there's no bubbles or solution left underneath the wind protection tape. Once you've applied one side or wing of the 3M wind protection tape, um, 
you can move to the other side of the leading edge and repeat the process with the other side. At that point, you'll have it firmly attached to the meter or meter and a half section of the blade that you're working on, and you can power your 360 bath down and repeat the process on the next section of the, of the leading edge. That process is repeated until you get to the, the tip of the wind blade. At that point, we recommend creating a narrower section of your wind protection tape by trimming off the edges. This can be done in place, so you don't need to uh, create a splice or, or interrupt your continuous piece of wind protection tape at all. Uh, if, if you're going to do multiple blades, we actually recommend creating a template out of something you've got on site, be it a piece of cardboard, a piece of glass that's laying around, um, so that you know how to cut it each time. And once the, the once the tip has been, once that's been narrowed, the next step again is to remove the liner, spray a line, and squeegee it into place. As we did with the, the full width section, in this narrower section, you repeat the same process. Move the center first, make sure that's firmly attached, and then remove each side one at a time and squeegee it into place. At this point, the, the 360 bath can be powered back up to the top. Uh, the next step in the process and the final step in the process is to apply 3M edge sealer. The edge sealer helps provide extra tack on the ed ends and then also provide the smooth transition to the blade surface. So once the, we do recommend a final drying step that's pictured on the left to make sure you've got all your solution removed and, and are ready to apply the edge sealer. Um, then we apply masking tape, exposing just the very edge of the wind protection tape and a small portion of the blade. Again, you're just looking to define the area, an area that will allow the edge sealer to cover both the edge of the wind protection tape and create a, a clean line about an eighth of an inch off of the wind protection tape. Once you've got the, the edge outlined, uh, we have a small dual pack system and a two-part urethane edge sealer, W2600. You dispense a small bead between the two pieces of tape and tool it to create a smooth transition. During the tooling process, I recommend using something flat like a squeegee or a, or a body filler spreader to really make sure you get a consistent shape and smooth uh, slope to that edge sealer. Once you've applied it all the way um, down the edge of the wind protection tape, the masking product, the masking tape can be removed and you can power your 360 baths down to the ground and celebrate a job well done. Um, the 360 baths definitely will help with its nimbleness and its ability to move up and down um, as you are looking at completing these, these multiple steps um, on small sections of the leading edge at one time. This is intended to be a high-level overview. We have more information available on our website, and we'll have an application guide specific to this new Easy Apply Liner available there within the next few weeks. And with that, we'd like to um, turn it over to Olin Richardson, he's got experience both using the spider platform and the 3 one protection tape, so he can talk to and speak to how the two really work together. Um, so to a, to a segment on Voice of Customer with Olin Richardson. Good, good afternoon, everyone. How are you today? Um, I haven't worked with Blade um, over the last 11 years or so. Seen a progression um, going from big cranes, um, RT cranes, looking for more and more cost-effective ways to get these blades to do repairs. It's always been an issue. Years ago, it was an issue for owners to do uh, it to be kind of a almost a cost-preventative issue for an owner to do preventative maintenance. If you're going to go out and do something small, and it's still going to cost them. Fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars just for a crane to come in to do a day's work on a blade. It, it became a real. It, it was almost cost prohibitive at times. Um, several years back, we started using um, swing stages. Uh, it's been in the industry for a little while. Oh five, oh six. They started becoming a little more popular. And as the industry's grown and the need is seen more, there's been growth from the single stage to these uh, multiple 360 platforms like we have here. 
the three sixties really are giving us more and more access, um, more manpower on the blade, shorter time on the blade. Um, over the last year, we've probably been in on over 4,000 blades and a little over 20,000 man hours in spider baskets um, on various turbines, blades, and doing um, leading edge work uh, as well as others. And I found this to really be our um, most effective way to give us the access we need and the time we need to get the job done. The um, leading edge erosion is one of these things that we see has become more and more prevalent. Um, it's not that you necessarily see a, um, it's, it's not one of those things that's right in front of you all the time that, that you can see. A turbine's running, you don't have the visual of it, but you don't realize the uh, downward effect the erosion is having on the blade. It's, it's just an increased drag. Um, erosion just leads to more erosion, um, which is going to lower the power curve, have other effects. The 3M products, we've been working with 3M now for at least eight or nine years, going through the different uh, reiterations of the tape to this, to where the, the point we are now to have a better, more cost-effective product and easier and more rapidly installable uh, product for, for the owners. Um, Clint, is there anything back with you? Noel, and I sure appreciate you uh, being there to kind of confirm that that this is a uh, you know a, a very productive method and and certainly appreciate the opportunity to work with you. I uh, look forward to seeing you next week at the show. Absolutely, uh, you and 3M as well. This has definitely been one of those products, um, kind of the three together. Um, no one's ran out and tried to come up with their own idea. We've all worked together on these ideas. How can we improve tape? How, what are our needs as a as a service provider? What does spider have? What does spider have to offer as a basket? Um, and it readily ask for input on their products to see what they can do to make our jobs better, easier, and 3M as well meet our needs for so that we can meet our customer needs. It's it's been a very good good working relationship all the way around, with the owner seeing the benefit at the end. Excellent. Thank you for joining us today, and and Nolan, I hope that uh, that you'll stick around. We've got uh, some kind of uh, open questions that are going to be coming in, and uh, I'm sure that some of the attendees would like to uh, get your opinion on a few things as well. Absolutely, I'll be here. Great, I appreciate that. You know, I I think that we're we're really to the point where we want to kind of dive into some of those questions. Um, I think that uh, you know we've got a, a few slides here just to sort of wrap things up, and I uh, I'm not sure if I have control back. I'm trying to advance it, and it doesn't seem to be going. But uh, we'll uh, we'll get to that point here. Here you go. As far as a summary is concerned, you know, Spider is a uh, is a safe, trusted, and reliable uh, partner in suspended access. We we uh, have great product solutions that are designed for the wind industry specifically, and uh, as well as an extensive line of products that uh, meet anything that uh, that might come up is in the way of new applications. You know, I think that uh, one of the points that I would want to make, just in way of summary, is that the use of the 360-degree blade access platform, uh, from reports that we've received from from our customers, improves the the time and and quality of these type of installations, uh, from a time standpoint, 50 to 75 percent, depending on wind conditions on the in the field, and it's just a uh, an excellent solution for for uh, getting up to the the work area with a, a minimal uh, requirement for additional resources, and so. You know we can support the uh, the need for access in wind farms through our 25 branch locations, and uh, these offer not only sales and service um, services to the the end user, but we also rent this equipment as well as provide factory trained technicians that can can 
train your technicians on its use and installation, as well as an extensive amount of technical services, resources, engineering uh, services to design installation and rigging procedures, as well as uh, other solutions for any other access needs that you have. We truly are a, uh, a company with a global footprint, but a real local feel, and that's what we, we try and, and uh, stress. I think, uh, Aaron, there's a slide in here as well for you to, uh, to summarize, if you'd like. Yep, thanks, Clint. I'll just do that briefly. I want to leave plenty of time for any questions from the audience. Uh, 3M has been around since uh, 1902, and we have over 100 years of product innovation, development, and manufacturing expertise. At the same time, we have operations in more than 35 countries, and we are currently and actively engaged in all of the major wind markets. Uh, we have been in the wind industry, wind industry for over 18 years, and from a 3M solution standpoint, we offer a full portfolio of solutions uh, for both blades and tower surfaces, structures, and manufacturing, uh, grid connection, and safety. And we look forward to working with you to identify the needs that you have and hopefully bring uh, even newer solutions to the market to address those. Excellent. Kathy, I think we're ready to turn it back over to you. Thanks again to uh, Aaron and Jen from 3M and, and for Olin for uh, helping on this portion of the presentation. Now we'd love to take some questions. So uh, Kathy, you going to take that away? Yes, I will. Uh, we do have questions coming in here, um, especially after all that information. So um, I suppose we can just begin. Um, I'll pose the question and uh, leave it open to whoever wishes to answer. Um, so we'll start off. Someone is wondering, using the platform and the new Easy Apply Tape, about how long does the application take and how does this time compare to competing LEP coding products? Um, I'll, I'll jump in on this one. This is Olin. Um, the application time is really uh, the, one of the biggest dependent factors on that is the condition of the blade when we start. Um, using the easy application tape along with uh, the platforms, we routinely are installing, uh, completing a turbine in a day. That, that's um, getting you where it is usually. If you're looking at a turbine being down, uh, eight to twelve hours for that day, then being back online. How does this compare um, with other products out there? Is it can kind of, is it comparable or less time? Comparable. We're seeing a little. We, we are seeing some faster times. Um, I would say probably a reduction of maybe twenty percent on the um, time um, over the day at least a 20% reduction in um, application time with everything all-inclusive. All right. Thanks, Olin. Uh, another question is, does 3M leading edge protection tape overlap at the ends during application? And if so, is the edge sealer required at that overlapping? We do recommend applying it as one continuous piece whenever possible. And in kit situations where that's not possible, then a butt splice, so where you've got the two pieces right up next to each other on the on the blade surface, is our, our is the best practice. And we do recommend putting a small um, a small bead of edge sealer over that area for additional protection. All right. Hey, Jen, just to kind of uh, kind of tag in on that, I think one of the issues with uh, having a continuous insulation is you know, the ability to move up and down, in and out, back and forth on that, uh, on that leading edge. And I think that to achieve the, the best insulation, which is that continuous, that continuous run, having the, the versatility of, of um, access options and having the, the work right in front of you, like you do off the platform, kind of leads to that preferred scenario. Absolutely. And, and while we're, ta I'll, I'll just tag on to Olin's as well. I believe you said that there's a 20% time reduction with some of the competitive products in the installation in the installation time. But one of the other important factors with your leading edge protection solution is how long it's going to last. And we know that we have seen in many locations, of course it's highly location dependent, but we have seen good performance from wind protection tapes for five to ten years. 
and that's something that a lot of competitive products at this time um, don't offer, or if they if they do offer it, it may not have been proven in the field yet. Um, I, I agree with that. The um, a factor to consider with um, application time is also there. There are other products out there, you know, be they paint, be they tape, whatever it is. Um, Cure times um, are a big issue. Um, when, you're, when we're putting on multiple coats of either a uh, an applied liquid uh, preventative uh, leading edge product or something else, one is buildup and two is actual uh, that can really ha cause you to have a lot of downtime is the layer, wait for a proper cure, relayer, wait for a proper cure. So there's much more downtime with that. I've, I have found versus a system that can be put on much much more clean, much more rapidly with the the, the taped products. All right. Um, if no one has anything to add to that, uh, we'll move on to another one here. Um, what someone is wondering: What is the maximum wind speed uh, that the 360 platform can be safely deployed at? Well, uh, I'll go ahead and answer that one, Kathy. Um, we have an operating limit of 11.2 meters per second. That's 25 miles an hour of wind speed, and uh, we're able to, if we if we rig this properly in a uh, in the slip slipstream of the turbine and downwind situation, we can operate at that speed without the use of of tag lines for any additional stabilization. Anything above that would have to be reviewed by our engineers and there would probably be a stabilization process that would have to be um, applied there. Um, this is all and I, I agree as well with that. You know, the 11, 12 meters is the most um, we're, we're willing to work at as well. It's a, it does as much better than it does um, with a crane, a suspended uh, crane basket. That's a lot, much more availability, much more access. All right. And um, someone else has a question about um, how secure uh, the platform is since it's suspended um, only in, on the two sides by the ropes. Um, this is Olin. Again, with my my guys being in, in baskets as much as they are, we've done a lot of work as well out of the single stage baskets where one cable uh, suspended from the top. People feel very, the visual of it at first is, is not appealing to a lot of people. People that are in the baskets uh, all, almost always state that they feel much more secure in this than they do even in a single wire than they do uh, being suspended from a crane. It's actually a good level, good sturdy platform to work from. Um, it's, it's, it's a very stable platform. And I think some of the other things that contribute to that uh, feeling of security is that they're in control of of their platform. They have the you know the ability to drive it up and down right there in the type of platforms that that Olin uses versus relying on an operator that's 200 feet below them or 300 feet below them to provide the, the guidance on that. I, in, a, in the standard application though, Kathy, we would use um, two wire ropes for each of the hoists. There's two hoists on the platform, so there's a total of four wire ropes involved and that eliminates the need for a, um, an independent uh, lifeline that's specifically only to uh, provide fall protection because they're able to tie off to the platform. Um, because we're using that secondary rope. All right, and Clint, maybe you could just answer this really quickly as well. Um, how long does it take to set up um, the 360? You know, there's kind of two facets to that question, I think. Um, because it is a modular platform, uh, depending on how we mobilize it to site, there could be an initial installation that typically happens just once and that takes about two hours for a, an experienced crew to put it together. Once it's in what we call the sub-assembled state and it's sitting on a trailer ready to go out to the, the uh, wind turbines, then an experienced crew reports to us that they can, they can rig that platform in 45 minutes or less and I think that it's much faster if you're using a, a, a single hoist platform. 
but uh, real good, you know, turn time on both the installation and the derigging so that that, that uh, turbine can go back into commission. All right. Um, we also have someone asking about um, how much the, the BAP system weighs um, in total and if it's available in Europe. It is available. It's uh, marketed in Europe and the rest of the world through our sister company, Power Climber. And uh, so it's manufactured to meet the code requirements in other parts of the world. And the, the first part was asking about the weight of our platform, the standard 5x10 configuration of a blade access platform is uh, about 2,300 pounds in total weight. And um, so it's, it's very light versus other competitors in the marketplace. And that certainly improves you know, the, the logistics of moving it from site to site. It's, uh, it's easily trailerable or it can be broken down into components put in the back of a pickup and move. Um, is it possible to rent the system, um, or what does it cost to buy it? Uh, it's available for purchase and for rental here in uh, in North America, and it's a um, you know it's a solution that depending on the exact configuration of the platform, uh, it ranges uh, a little bit, but typically it's it's between about a you know probably a purchase price that's um, in the $60,000 to $70,000 price range for a, uh, a complete system. All right. Um, let's see here. How about, um, does 3M offer a warranty on the wind pro uh, protection tape? Premium has a standard material warranty that's included for all of our products, guaranteeing that it's going to be defect-free and manufactured for our, for our standards. Um, but at this time, we do not offer an extended warranty beyond that for the wind industry. And part of the reason is just the challenge with um, the fact that the, the conditions that it will be exposed to are so different from location to location. All right. Um, also, Jennifer may be able to uh, answer this. How does adding um, the 3M wind production tape impact uh, the blade manufacturer's warranty? In, we recommend talking with the blade manufacturer about that if it's still under warranty. Um, it can vary, it really varies depending on which OEM you're, you're working with, who's made your turbines. All right. Uh, let's see, another question here. Um, this is also about the uh, protection tape, the 3M protect protection tape. How often should you apply it to the blade? Again, that's going to be very site dependent um, because the, the erosion conditions can be very different depending where, where your turbine is located. Um, in general, we have seen customers that have replacement plans every, um, one I can think of in California does every seven years, and they found that to be work really well for them. The tape hasn't reached the end of its life yet, so they know that they can pull it off um, and have a nice clean blade surface where they can reapply it. Um, so again, it's going to be very site dependent, but we certainly would recommend doing a, an inspection every two to three years. and being prepared to consider replacing it every five to ten. Again, general recommendations, very site dependent. All right. Um, all right, this is uh, for Spider again. Someone's wondering um, how long it takes to uh, set up the system. I don't believe we asked that already, or they may, they may have been covered. Yeah, I think we did cover that earlier, but just to uh, kind of restate it, it from the initial assembly um, where all the base components are modular, and maybe we ship it to a job site uh, by common carrier, about two hours to assemble that, that's one time that that takes place on site. But once it's on the trailer and it's sub-assembled state and we're moving it from turbine to turbine, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour depending on, on the exact site conditions. Uh, to get that installed in the morning and then about the same or a little bit less to take it down at the end of the day. 
All right, Clint, and uh, while you're speaking, can you discuss um, how big the area um, would be if uh, you would uh, attempt to repair um, from a platform? Mm, I think this must be talking about more of like a composite repair. And, uh, you know, if we're talking about the installation of the leading edge protection uh, product, we can work from the tip of the blade up the blade as, as far as you want to go. If you're, if you're working kind of a standard installation, I think that that's about 20 to 30 meters, somewhere in that range, and you could have continuous access along that leading edge. I think that if, uh, if you're talking about more of like a structural repair to the blade, a crack or a lightning strike or something like that, we've had uh, end users that have done everything from minor repairs and uh, you know surface um, smoothing or crack repair from the platforms all the way up to major structural repairs in some cases where the um, you know the the inability to lower the blade so they've opened up very large I've, I've heard up to meter long sections of of blade and and actually done work on the inside so pretty versatile that way all right, and I think um, we'll go with one more question here. Um, how close to the root uh, can you get with the 360 platform? You know, it does vary a bit by turbine and the exact rigging process, but we can typically get within a few meters of the root of the blade, and on some turbines, um, due to the way that the the uh, nacelle and the, the hub are aligned, we can get you know, to close enough that the uh, the operators, the technicians, can actually touch the the root of the blade, and so it, there is a little bit of a, a variable there. But I would say, in general, we can get within a few meters. Now, that certainly affects the dimensions on the platform as well. Some of these newer blades have have very large maximum cords that we have to be able to to get past. But uh, we've been able to solve most of those that have come in the way of a request to us right now. All right. Well, um, I think those are about all the questions we have and all the time we have for. Um, so I would like to thank everyone for their time today, our presenters and all of our attendees, of course. Um, so thank you so much for sharing your expertise and for listening. And also thanks to everyone in our audience for listening. Um, I, I hope that you enjoyed the presentation. And Wind Power Engineering and Development will be doing webinars monthly, so keep an eye out for more to come. Thanks so much, everyone. Thank you. Thanks.